Women have always been very powerful, but they have most of the time not had the opportunity to make that a deep part of their life and to make it a contribution to our society. And so we have to change that. This program of making women visible by recognising them is a start. Well, when I first started at the University of New South Wales, I found it very challenging. I remember really clearly my first day at university. There was only about three or four women I'd seen all day at the university because I was in commerce and there weren't very many women. And this was part of being at university in the 60s. I remember going to the first International Women's Day march with my mother when I was about 10 years old. I knew that there was a world out there to be fought for. So when I graduated, actually, I got this phone call at 10 o'clock at night. It was the Attorney General of New South Wales. We set up the Ministry of Aboriginal Affairs and immediately appointed me first woman, never mind first Indigenous woman, to be appointed to head up a government department. I came to UNSW in about 20... 14. I remember there being quite a number of women actually in a lot of my classes so that was really fantastic and I think science and women in STEM generally is an area that has grown so much over the past sort of 10 years or so and I think after my third games in London where I won my gold in 100 breaststroke I was just so humbled and so proud that I had really incredible support and there's no way I could have achieved what I did without that support. Celebrating UNSW women, making them visible, it is making a lot of younger women very excited. It is assisting everybody in this university to see their future because they can see that it is possible. I was a student here and my honours thesis supervisor, Maria Skilakazakis, one of the leading researchers in her field, Rosa Marl, still one of the leading researchers now in the country here, but didn't necessarily loom large in the lives of all students. One of the things that this project is absolutely vital for is in celebrating the really incredible achievements of UNSW women over a very long period. I think you can't be what you can't see and for women to walk around campus and to see these role models is, is so inspiring. It's only a few weeks ago that University of New South Wales contacted me. I, I, I said to Lydia, my daughter, I've just been told that they want to name it a building after me. Well, I mean, I almost fell off the chair. <laughs> I love the thought that my grandchildren might be at university here. To have my grandchildren come out and see my name, I think that would be amazing. To know that this woman has stepped in exactly the same sort of environment that I have means there's nothing stopping me from then going on and doing extraordinary things just like they have. Through that celebration, not only do people get inspired, but the rest of society can understand the impact that we have. And I think that's how you create social change. It's really exciting to, to see the progress that, that has been made um, and to be part of that progress as well. It just provides so much more for us to learn about each other as people, which I do hope goes on to inspire the world, as silly or as idealistic as that might sound, to make the world a better place, really. <laughs>